Did you know that you can duplicate an entire section in a OneNote notebook? How might that be helpful? Well, stay with me as we do our April plan with me and I'll show you how to get it done. Lickety split. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life, where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today, I am making this process of getting this planner done even more easy than it has been in the past, okay? All right, um, if you're new here, I wanna say welcome. Uh, if you are a returning uh, viewer, I'd like to say welcome back. Uh, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. Uh, subscribing is free and it really does uh, let YouTube know that what we are doing here is helpful. Without further ado, let's get right into the video today. I'm excited about setting up April and I want to show you how quick and easy it can be, okay? Well, as you can see here on my screen, I am at the end of March and getting ready to set up the month of April. I did not do any plan with me's for the month of March because I was focused on National Craft Month. Uh, I will leave a link to the playlist where I have uh, four or five videos on how to set up a crafting or project notebook uh, in OneNote. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at that, uh, I'll leave that link up above and down in the description. But you can see here for March, I have been using uh, this really adorable um, cat sticker set. Um, and again, I will link those in the uh, description box below if you would like to check those out. This is not a sponsored um, uh, video. I bought all of these graphics that you see here uh, I just think they're cute and enjoy sharing them with you. So this was pretty cool. I really liked uh, the way this worked. And you know what? I have been working really hard um, January, February, and March of this year to really get my notebook the way that I want it to be, okay? And what I have done is as I go through each uh, month, if I add something new or change something or tweak something, uh, what I've been doing is I have a section down here called Basic Month. Let's go take a look at that. So down here in my Basic Month section, you can see I have all of my basic pages. I have generic weeks and I have daily pages, okay? Um, and I have worked hard and diligently to get all of these links to work, okay? So if I go over here to my daily links and I click, click on day five, you can see that I am still in my basic month and I am on my daily page of page five, okay? If I go here and click week two, I am still in my basic month and now I am on week two. If I go to my monthly page, make it the right size so you guys can see it, you can see I have my basic monthly page uh, with my basic calendar there, my in the garden space, uh, my currently stuff, and a place for my goals. Again, it's just very, very basic, okay? Uh, but I tried really hard to get all of these uh, links to work and so here is a link to my uh, basic goals page and how that is laid out. Um, and so what I think is I am ready to um, show you a little secret. Now, don't tell anybody because it's going to make our lives a lot easier, but we don't want everybody in the world to know about this, okay? So this is just between me and you, all right? Now, we have all of those links that work, and we spent a lot of time getting all of them to work perfectly. And when I go and click on everything, it works great, okay? To set up for April, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to this uh, tab, which says Basic Month, and I am going to right-click on that tab. I'm going to go down here where it says Copy or Move. And when I do that, I get a box. Let me bring it up on the screen for you. It looks like this. And it says, copy or move 
section, basic month, into a notebook or after a section, okay? So what I'm going to do is I want to put that in my 2024 life planner and I want it to go down here below March because guess what? I'm going to use that for April, okay? So I don't have to tell it to go down here before March. It's just going to automatically put that at the end, okay? Now, this is going to take a few um, minutes to do because, you know, we have, like I said, all of these pages across the top and all of these 31 pages down the side, okay? But I'm going to leave it up in real time and let you see actually how long it takes to copy and create that entire notebook, okay? Enjoy the music. Here we go. Um, there it is, <laughs> right there. <laughs> Basic month number two, okay? Now if I, uh, I showed you in this month, in the basic month, that all of these things work. So I could go to week two, I could go to day five, uh, I could go to my monthly page, I could go to page 21, I could go to my inbox, okay? So you see all of those links work, right? All right, let's hop down here to basic month number two, and let's see if those links work here. Give me a thumbs up if you think this is going to work. Hit that like button below. Here's our monthly page. Look, we're still in the basic month. Yes, it is the same. It looks exactly the same as my basic month back here because I copied it, but I know that I'm in the right space because this tab is raised up a little bit. That's the current tab that we're in. Let's go to week two. Do we stay in our basic month two? Yes. Let's go to page 11. Do we stay there in basic month two? Yes. All of those things work, okay? So, my whole month is set up. All I need to do is go in here and rename this from basic month two to April, and there we go. Do I want to change colors? Of course I do. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with purple. April is my birthday month, so I get to pick whatever I want, and I am going with purple, okay? Now, I could do that again. I could actually sit here right now and go through and copy that for May, June, July, August, September, October, and so on and so on, okay? I personally don't want to do that right now because I might make changes to things. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Anyway, but I'm going to leave my basic month there uh, so that if I make changes to something, I can go to that basic month and do it one time and fix that one month rather than have to go and fix all of the rest of the months of May through the end of the year, okay? So I don't mind doing them month after month after month, but I have had people ask me, do I have to build my month from the beginning every time at the beginning of the month? You can. You can customize it, but do you have to? No, you can simply create a basic month and copy that month forward, okay? I have shown you in the past too, where I have taken the month of March and I have made a copy of that. And then I just go in and clean out all of the stuff that I don't need from March. That's another way to do it. Uh, one of the beautiful things about OneNote and most digital things is there are at least two or three different ways of doing something, okay? So in this case, to build your month, you could do it from scratch every month. You could copy an old month and clean it out. Or you could create this basic monthly template section that I have down here and make a copy of that. I'm sure there are other ways to do it as well. And if you know of any other way to do it, go ahead and drop us a comment. Let us all know what's going on. Uh, I love learning from all of you, and I think that would be a wonderful thing to do, okay? All right. Now that I am in April, now I can go back and I can start uh, doing things like changing my page titles. So this one is no longer my basic month inbox. It is April's inbox, okay? So I can just change that title. If I change the title here, it does not affect 
uh, anything else. So let's say I go to week one and I want to go back to my inbox. It will take me back to that same page. I just changed it from basic month to April. It knows that it finds it. Everything is good. Okay. Then I can go to my month page and I can say, you know what? I need to go to my year long. I need to grab my April calendar and put it in here. So I have all of my long-term pre-planning stuff in there and I can start to build on other things that I need to include for the month. I can go to my garden in my long month section, uh, my year long section. I can go to my master gardener page. I can pull up April, make a copy of that, uh, take it back to April and paste it right in there. Okay. All right. So I can now start playing around with things and getting them exactly as I want. Okay. All right. Moving on my health and habits. I can change that to April if I want, like so, and so on and so on. Okay. So today's video is going to be a short one. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to copy that entire section from one basic monthly section into every section that you might need for your entire planner. Okay. Now I've got to get busy decorating, setting it up and making it cute for myself because it's already completely functional for me. And I love that. And the good news is, is if I didn't do anything to those pages, they would still function great. So week one is already set up to go. Just got to put my dates in there and get rolling. Do the colors match April? No, but if I don't want to change those, I don't have to. But once I decide to make it cute, that's when the fun begins. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you will try this creating or copying an entire section uh, in your planner. Uh, I think it's a great tip and uh, I hope you do too. Until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay. Bye.